Good afternoon, everybody. Pat Zemer here. I'm a three-time best-selling author, founder of MagnaWave. Uh, several years ago, I'm a practitioner. I've treated thousands of horses and small animals and people over the years. I've been doing uh, PEMF therapy since 2002 uh, on the racetracks and horse shows and again for for individuals. Uh, I've got an undergraduate degree in uh, microbiology and pathology and I also uh, was an EMT at one point in time. So as far as qualifications are concerned, I've got a good solid basic medical background from the standpoint of where we're going and I've been doing this for a long time. So I just want to introduce myself to you and welcome you to the MagnaWave office hours. This is the second program. We did one this morning. Our plan is to do office hours every Tuesday, 9 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon. So those who have scheduling conflicts can make it at either time and uh, enjoy the show and be able to learn some more about PEMF and MagnaWave and what we stand for and what the benefits of PEMF can be for you uh, who may be, for those of you who may be interested in PEMF as a practitioner, as a business, or just for your own use at home. We want to answer your questions and make sure that you get the perfect information that you're, that you're looking for. So I'm glad you're here. If you have any questions, uh, simply jot them down into the box uh, underneath this video and uh, we'll do our best to answer those questions for you this afternoon. We'll be here for anywhere from a half an hour to an hour as uh, as things uh, shake out this morning. We were on for an, right at an hour. I had another meeting to go to at uh, 10 o'clock and we started at nine on the button and uh, ended up at about 10 o'clock in the morning. So again, if you have questions, please feel free to enter them in the box and I'll take a look at them and uh, answer them for you right here live. One of the things that we like to do uh, at Magnet Way, we like to be totally, totally transparent when it comes to how we promote our website and what we do. We want you to have all the information. I'll give you a little idea here on, on how that works. We like to make everything available for you on the website, whether that's research, pricing, how to get in touch with us, uh, chatting with us live. I'm on the live chat nearly every day answering questions for folks as they come in. So here's a little picture of our website, uh, the opening page of our website showing that we got MagnaWay for people, horses, and pets. Uh, there's a picture of my book with Dr. Jerry Dreesen. Uh, that's kind of an overview of how I got into the business, how Jerry Dreesen got introduced to what we did. <clears throat> so it, it, you know, you can look at it in many different ways. It's about MagnaWave, and, and uh, uh, it's been, it's continued to be in the top 100 or 150 in sales every month. Uh, in, the, in our health and wellness category on Amazon, so we're excited about that. But so this is just a, a look at our website. So we want you to understand how's that how that goes. And like I said, we love to be transparent. I don't want to. I don't. I hate it when I go to a website and I do something and I got to give all my information in order to get the information that I want. We don't do that at MagnaWay. We want you to have it at your fingertips as you need to uh, gain the information that you. Uh, that you want to have. So come back over here to me all of a sudden. Got to get it over here. Oh, I'm over there. Let's come back. Hello, here we go. So <laughs> at any rate, I want to kind of start. So again, if you have any questions, oh, um, yes, Mar uh, Maureen, uh, Maureen, these uh, videos are saved. Uh, for viewing later, we're going to have them in our, we'll take sections of them and put them in our education portal. Uh, which I'll also show to the folks here in a few minutes, and then we'll have them available as podcasts, basically, for people to uh, listen to hear what uh, questions are asked and uh, gain the information that they're they're looking for. Some of these uh, broadcasts will have perhaps a set subject matter, uh, but if they're open for you to ask questions, we're going to get off topic very easily when we when we do that but we may have specific topics uh, from time to time but they're basically open for opening questions and so that's how we're going to uh, pursue this type of program so again if you have any questions hey Melody how are you uh, I see some friends popping in there to take a look at what we're doing so what I want to like to talk about kind of start off with there have been a lot of questions lately uh, about training and certification and credentials and, and a lot of different things like that. I, I just want to kind of get some facts to you and kind of look at how, how things have developed. 
when I got started with the device of MagnaWave back in the late 2006 and, and uh, 2007, there were virtually maybe a handful of machines east of the Mississippi River. There were several in chiro a bunch of them in chiropractors offices around the country and acupuncturists and massage therapists, but not very deep into the animal world or the, to the horse world. Our background was in horses because when I started in uh, PEMF therapy back in 2002, uh, at the end of 2001, 2002, uh, it was on the racetrack with uh, pulsed electromagnetic field therapy equipment from another manufacturer and I did that for a, a number of years until we found our machine. So there were, uh, you know, I was very familiar with it at that point. But again, there weren't many machines east of the Mississippi River. Today that, that has changed. There's thousands of machines uh, east of the Mississippi River and there's a whole bunch of machines in the human aspect and a bunch of machines in the small animals and, and, the, and the equine. So I just wanted to, to cover how that worked. Uh, in the beginning, um, as I said, there, I was just traveling around the country. We were in this tube, as my wife calls it, traveling around the country treating horses. We'd go to racetracks, horse shows, conventions, to whatever the situation may be. And, and that's, that's how we were doing it. And then I would leave the first, one of the first places, I, one of my first customers was at Churchill Downs and uh, Mary Jo, and uh, we sold a machine and she started treating uh, folks and horses at Churchill Downs. And then I went to St. Louis for a horse show over there and I was getting ready to leave after a couple of weeks. One of the uh, young ladies said, hey, I want to do this. Can, you, can I buy a machine? And I said, sure, I can arrange that. So I got with the factory and worked it out for her to have a machine. So all of a sudden, we were in the machine business. But we continued to travel. I would set these folks up, show them how to use the devices. I was new to it, but I'd show them what I knew. And we were learning every day. And I'd kind of train them to do that. Well, as time went on, I'll be succinct and quick on this because there's going to be a lot of folks that maybe have questions. As time went on, we had more and more machines. And people were saying, hey, uh, what about some additional training? And how do we treat this? And what about this? Uh, particular indication. So we decided what we needed to do was uh, have a set uh, training program that could be hands-on as well as online so you so people could come in and and the basic idea was to explain PEMF what it was how it worked and and how it would be used whether it's on a small animal person or a horse and that was the main focus of what we were doing and along the way we began to create protocols and and as we call guidelines for the for a good way to use the machine for for general well-being and and wellness um, and so that's that's how it went and then we integrated a testing process into that so someone could take these these uh, these programs provide have it take a test and so then we had the certified situation is what we called it uh, that they spent the time uh, provided the reports did the training became certified in in our language you could call it credentials or whatever anybody wants to do and it continued to continue to grow to where today there are some 300 practitioners who uh, work with us around the country providing services. Many of these practitioners are uh, uh, very well trained. I mean, from the standpoint that they're very experienced, they've gone out and they've treated and treated and treated and treated. Others like to learn, like to get the credentials or the certification in order to be able to treat their own horses and maybe look at expanding their business, but they're all on the same page with definitions, how things work and what things are. And that's basically what we've done. Well, recently, <clears throat> for the longest time, we were about the only company really providing any type of education which we've been doing now for almost six years and at first no one cared we were doing it and, and but then we had momentum and business was good and and it became a you might want to call it a competitive advantage to be trained and and to have us available to answer your questions 24 hours a day basically and to help people either have a business or to use it for their personal use so all of a sudden now people started saying well our training is better than your training and your training is not as good as our training the bottom line as far as I'm concerned is all training is good if you go out and you get trained and you learn and then you continue to explore we have continuing education in our training every year additional courses in anatomy and, and various aspects as, as to how to apply this therapy as things continue to develop 
and and so I look at it and say, I, you know, if you go to Xavier in Ohio and you become an MD, that doesn't mean that you can't practice in Indiana. You go over there and you and you do your thing. So I think anybody's education and training can be very effective as long as it's thorough and it gets to the point. And I think I think that's a good thing. I always tell people when it comes to that, you need if you're picking a supplier, if you're picking somebody you want to work with, find somebody that you want to work with, somebody that's going to support you, is going to work to educate you so you know better what you're doing, and then it's somebody that you're comfortable being with as you build your business or use it again in your own personal situation at home or whatever you're in, in a business environment for wellness for your employees, whatever it may be. The, my whole deal is find somebody you're comfortable with, somebody that's going to support you, and outside of that, all education is good. But that's how our, edu how our education process has developed. We wanted to become accredited. We still would like to be accredited. I went to an accrediting agency and I asked, hey, how do I, what do I do? And they said, start a program. Create a program, start doing it, then we'll look at it and tell you what perhaps you need to add, what you need to do, certainly you need testing, certainly you need to be able to explain your testing when you're done to help your people learn or when they're completed to help the people learn from that process. So that's what we've done and that's what we intend to continue to do. So when people come to ask us, we've had situations, there was a time when, when all of a sudden the racetracks were saying, well, wait a minute, there's a lot of people running around with these machines and we don't know who we want to lay it on the track and who we don't want to let on the track. We want everybody to be safe. So we would go before some of the racing uh, stewards, uh, some of the racing commissions at various uh, New York, uh, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, various places, met with the state veterinarians, and, and they looked at our training. They realized that we were trying to be on base and try to make it uh, complete and thorough. And so uh, many times they would call us. We'd get a call from New York from the racing office, and they'd say, hey, we've got a number here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is this person certified in your training? Have they been trained? And we'd look online or in our system, yes, they're in. They say, fine, we'll give them a license or give them credentials to come to our racetrack. Some places would not let other people on, so it's a it's a kind of thing that you work towards credibility, and that's, that's what we want to do. So that's kind of our training situation in a nutshell. So let me take a look here, and uh, um, let's see here where we got might have a question. Um... Nope, no questions as yet, so I know if you've got a question, um, we'd be happy to answer it. Let me make sure, just take a look here. Uh, nope, everything looks good, so I'll, I'll go on. I was talking about the training. What I'd like to do uh, while we're waiting for some questions, if someone has a question, questions can be about machines, can be about different machines available from different places, can be about there's a big dis discussion between low-powered devices and high-powered devices. They're all good, and they all work, but they work at different speeds. They have different uh, guidelines for how they're used, and someone may have a question about that, about what is the best powered machine for them or for what their needs are. So again, whatever these questions are, just uh, give me a shout and uh, we'll, take a, we'll take a look at it. But uh, let me show you here our certification. Uh, this is where our certification portal, now this will be changing uh, drastically here in the next uh, 30 to 45 days because we've got a whole new certification training website built that's got much more uh, information in it, much more opportunities to learn other aspects of PEMF and the business and how, how it's applied. But as you can see, we've got these various sections. We have a dashboard that covers the anatomy, the human, the equine, and the small animal uh, sections of the, well, I don't have you seeing that because I need to come over here and show you that screen. So let me move over to that. So there we go. I'm sorry. I lost track of which, which screen I was looking at. So here it, here it is, and you can see that we have anatomy. We have human, equine, and small animal, and we're expanding these areas and making additions. For example, we've got Evernote's report, Evernote reports here. We now have our own freestanding app for treatment uh, recording and treatment records that you can email the record to your customer or to the veterinarian or to the person that you're working with. So they have a documentation of what you've done and what your plans are for the future. Uh, we have an area where we have social media posts and uh, for example what that would do, we pull that up, is if someone needs a post on how PEMF works or MagnaWave effectiveness, we can take them, there's the post, the practitioners can then put that on their particular
particular websites. We have specialized area for what we call mammalian anatomy, where we cover the animal and human anatomy at the same time from a mammalian or perspective of a mammal. And we cover cells and tissues, a skeletal system, muscle system, joint and articulations. We get pretty deep into this area, and uh, this is going to become an added feature because we also cover an anatomy in some of the other areas of the program. And then we have um, a section where we have the human aspect where we have different attachments, how to treat arms and hands, feet, what to use, how to set up the coils on the neck. And these are all videos uh, that you can see. And then as, as someone is in this portal, and then there's very almost 15, I believe, different modules for the equine section covering all kinds of guidelines. And uh, we cover, what I tell people is, you know, it's, a, it's kind of an interesting situation. We are not an FDA approved device at this point. We are in the FDA process, and I'd be happy to address that if someone wants to know that. But we, we can, I can say things and describe things in the equine and small animal area that I really can't necessarily do legally in the human side because we want to show how it works, but you can't, I don't want anybody to say that anyone's trying to practice medicine, so we're careful about what we say. We don't diagnose, we don't talk about healing things, but we can talk in the veterinary world more about what we do because it's, it's a different application and it's handled differently. So this is our um, training section and where people can go in and get this training and then they can come to Kentucky and have hands-on training or I'd be happy to go them or some of one of our practitioners go to people wherever they are in the field to get the training that they're looking for. So uh, I'm back over here now. Let me take a look and see um, dressage training. Um, let's see. Nope, still no questions. Well, come on. We had all kinds of questions <laughs> uh, this morning, and I'd be happy to cover some of those uh, at this time um, if you'd like, but I just wanted to certainly make it open to answer any questions that you may have um, with regard to the, to the program or to your education. What I'll show you now is I'd like to go over and take a look. Let me pull it up here and get it ready to go for you. Is... Um, <clears throat> take a look at our, our forum, our group forum, or what we call a, a private, it's a private Facebook uh, group uh, situation that we have that once somebody becomes trained and uh, achieves our certification and the testing and all that kind of stuff, we have a, a portal, a uh, private forum group that they're enabled to go into. There's about, oh, I'd say 300 people or so that, that access this particular this particular forum, and they can go in and ask questions. I'm working with this type of condition, that this person or this dog has that, and uh, what would you recommend as a guideline to treat it? How would that How would that work? And then you will get all kinds of answers. Here's one that was yesterday where one of the practitioners was asking about, well, what about the, uh, the TheraPlate, the vibration plates? Do they work well with MagnaWay? They say they do this and they say they do that. And there's all kinds of answers. It gets quite involved when people start answering these questions uh, in the portal. And that's to me, that's invaluable because we've got doctors, practitioners, uh, acupuncturists, massage therapists, chiropractors that are in there, and you can learn from all of them. If someone's talking about a dog, that doesn't mean that that same type of cellular activity doesn't take place in person. So we, we, we have all of that. Here's someone talking about sprained ankles and what's the best way to approach a sprained ankle. That's a newer practitioner. Uh, here's someone asking questions about a pig with an abscess. Never worked on a pig. Wanted to know who has and what's going on. And you can see here's pictures and here's information about working on pigs. We've got a few people that pretty much almost make their living working on pigs. Show pigs, show cattle. Uh, all that type of uh, all that type of activity is, is available, and that's what they do. So this particular forum is available to our practitioners, so they can come in and get questions answered as they're learning and building their businesses or building their their uh, availabilities to conduct business. And we we love it. We're act, we're in it all the time. People are asking questions all the time, and and hoping to uh, certainly make it work for them. So that's a little view of that portal. Let's see. Well, here's a uh, question. Um, what is your best advice for those of us who may be struggling to get their business off the ground 
if uh, with freebies, educating, advertising, uh, et cetera, isn't working? Well, Shannon, that's a great that's a great question, and it I've always I tell I tell folks all the time, uh, if you believe in what you're doing, people see that you believe in what you're doing, and you have a good bedside manner, you can be successful in this business. But it's not like falling off a log. You, you have to. Uh, network with people. You have to, in, in the beginning, I, I treated person after person after person. People used to ask me, how'd you get your horses? How'd you get started in this business? By treating the riders. I'd treat the rider and they'd feel better, their back or their knee or their, or their ankle, they'd feel better <clears throat> and then they'd let me treat their horses. And what was amazing about this, that I didn't even know what to experience. I was familiar with the machine, but when I first got it, I'd go and I'd do just what I said. I knew how to use it and what to do. Then I'd go treat their horse. They'd get on the horse and ride off and come back and say, my God, that horse hasn't changed leads like that in two years. That horse hasn't had the range of motion that it has today in months. And, and that's, those are the kind of things we would, we would hear. And they would have us treat their horse three or four times during that show or once a week during the show, whatever this, the situation was. But we got our horses by basically treating people. Or they would, we'd treat the people, then they'd have us treat their dog. <laughs> and it would, would go on like that. And so it, the, the best thing to do is it, it, it can take, it, it seems like it took us an eternity to build this business. And, and, and we've been doing it a long time, but it did. It took months and months to get people to have trust in us, to, to give us the opportunity to work with their animals. Uh, and, but to that end, uh, Shannon, we're also, uh, in fact, I had a marketing meeting this morning with our marketing crew that, that helps us out with, uh, with where we're going, and we're, we're making a big focus to build custom audiences, to build uh, custom videos, that even more so, I know Shannon, at one time we did a small video for you, we're really getting down to where the videos are gonna deal with specific indications, specific guideline type of stuff, so people in your community will be able to see exactly what this does. We, we're developing a way that people can respond to your Facebook posts and actually get additional information. When they say, I wanna learn more, they'll get additional information and it'll walk them right to the point to where they're ready to call you. And so we're developing those those types of softwares and, and uh, plans to put in place for various practitioners. And it, it's amazing. One practitioner will take off like a lightning bolt hit and they just and they go. Another person may struggle. But that's the nature of the business and that's unfortunate. But we're, we are putting plans in place to help with that much more uh, in-depth perhaps than we've been able to really do in the past. We've wanted to do it and we've wanted to help and we've put some plans together, but we're really making a concentrated effort now with our practitioners. Uh, we've got the, our practitioners get access to a free customer relations management program that they can go in and send emails from, that they can, that they can communicate with their, t via text with their customers and say, I'm going to be over in this neighborhood today. Uh, if you'd like to, meet, if you want to meet me, I'll do it, you know, that, that type of stuff. So, all those, t it's an electronic world. If somebody can pick up their telephone and see what you're doing or what's going on, that's what they want to do. And the, the new app is helping with that because you can talk to people that I can send you your reports and we can keep up on all that. So there's a lot of things happening, uh, Shannon, to improve that situation. So everybody, my goal is to, for everybody to be super successful uh, with this business, those who choose to use it as a business. Very candidly, though, that doesn't always happen. We, we try to make it happen. We try to do everything we can, but I, I hope that uh, answers your, your question. Another question uh, is, I'm renting right now, considering purchase and training later for personal use only. Is it possible that I can join the group just to observe and not comment? <clears throat> well, Jessica, that, that's another great question. And the way that kind of works is once you're into the family, if you will, then we want you to come into the group and we want you to learn and observe what's going on. I'm trying to put a, uh, a situation like you're talking about together to where somebody can come in and observe and listen for a period period of time. But uh, I'll be very candid, we're a business. And and I had, it, it, and this, is, this is exactly how it happened. One day I got a phone call 
and this person on the other end of the phone, she says, do you realize you're training all of your competition? And I said, what? She said, yeah. She said, people are calling you, and I have to answer my phone. People are calling you. They're going to your site. They're asking questions. You're answering their questions. You're giving them stuff, and then they're going and buying something else from your competition. And I said, well, I, you know, I really can't do that. I really, you know, as much as I'd love to do that and, and love to educate everybody as much as I can, uh, that's just something that we all of a sudden, that was another reason that the training kind of came along. So, you know, there is a way to, that we think we can help you. We are available to, to ask, uh, answer questions and to help out. And certainly you can go to our regular Facebook page, which is right here. It's on Facebook and it's Facebook. Uh, let me put that up here for you so you can see it. But it's, it's Facebook and you can go there and ask questions or send us uh, messages. To, about questions that you have about what you're treating and what you're learning. We put a lot of information on this page um, so people can learn about what it is. And, we, and again, here we are. That's me right now. Uh, but we put information on there and answer questions for you. So, Jessica, I hope that uh, helps you. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 502 271 Eight four zero zero, so I can uh, help you out as much as I can. Or we have, call the office. We have training a training person right here in the office, uh, Aaron Hughes, and some other folks that can answer your questions uh, as they as they come up. So, uh, Jessica, I hope that helps, and uh, we want to help you in any way we can. Uh, so, um, great, Shannon. I'm glad you're hanging in there, and uh, uh, we want to we want to help you out any way we can. Hi, Tony. Tony Crowther. Uh, is with us today. So again, if you have any additional questions, I would be more than happy to answer them again about whatever it may be. Uh, here's a question. Is there any way for you to do a video on the variety of ways to use each atta attachment? I know I really get a lot of benefit from MagnaCon. Thank you. MagnaCon was great. Um, how Vicki uses some of the attachments in different ways on humans, and I would like to see more utilized in my business. And you know, that's a, that's a great question, uh, and, and that's one of the purposes of what we're doing here. We want to, in fact, we're going to start a whole new video series where we're, we're doing small animals, people, and, hu and, and horses to where we're going to go through the whole process of showing different ways to use each attachment on a different area of the body. You know, there's a big thing out there where, where some of the, uh, some other companies, if you will, are talking about, and we have this as well, we have the large wave wings that can allow you to do both sides of the horse at one time, uh, both sides of the neck, shoulders, top line, whatever the situation may be. And, and you know, that's very effective if you want to give a good overall treatment to a horse in a relatively quick time. That's a wonderful piece, but we like to go deeper and get down to where is this horse sensitive and find that. And as we talk about in some of our videos and with, at MagnaCon, we sometimes chase the pain. You know, pain's a funny thing. When I used to treat racehorse jockeys, they'd come to me and they'd say, Pat, help me, my back, my back is sore. And so I'd treat their low back. And they'd get up and they'd say, oh, I feel so much better. And they'd bend over and touch their toes and do all that kind of stuff. Well, the next day they'd come back to me at Churchill Downs and they'd be saying, man, my shoulders are killing me. What did you do to me? Didn't do anything. Their back wasn't hurting as much, so now their shoulders were hurting. Because your body picks up basically one pain at a time, the predominant pain. So we would, what we would call then, we'd chase the pain. We'd work their shoulders and maybe down into their elbow, whatever. Because, you know, those guys are, those people, those male and female jockeys work hard. And they're contorted when they're working and they're bouncing. So we would chase the pain out of them. And you'll do the same thing to an animal quite often or a horse. You'll find out what's sensitive. You'll work on it. And the next thing you know, it's up in the shoulder or it's coming from the knee and it's affecting the hips. And so you, you work the body to find the areas and treat them and hopefully improve the overall wellness and well-being of the horses. But we're going to do that. That's a great question. It's way beyond needing to be done. I've got videos that I did that showed a lot of this, but not with the, the new attachments and all of that. So yes, we're going to do that. And we're going to do that very soon uh, on our um, that we'll make available to you on the Facebook pages and on our YouTube channels. We've made big changes to our YouTube channel. I should pull that up and let you take a look at it. But we have a channel, uh, a main YouTube channel. Then we have it broken down into areas for medical professionals, small animals, horses, 
people to where someone, if they have a particular interest, they can go to that particular section and see videos that will relate to that aspect of their needs for their anytime wellness that we can give you anytime you want it with our type, our type of therapy. So I hope that uh, answers your question, healing frequencies, and we, we are going, going to do that very shortly for you. Um, here's another question I totally understand. I was just curious about the Facebook group, LOL. Thank you for uh, speaking with my trainer last week. My house is already seeing good results. My horse, my horse. It's it, a little small print over here where I'm reading it on <laughs> on the other screen. But um, I'm glad your horse is seeing and seeing the results that you want. And I think I think that's wonderful, Jessica. So um, we really appreciate it. Hey, there's my nephew, Gib Higgins, is uh, fired up and, and joining us. He needs to learn. He's a big golfer, and uh, he's a younger man, and so I don't think his back's hurting him yet, but he needs to be magnet-waving himself so he doesn't hurt his back as he plays golf, and then he'll beat his buddies. Uh, sometimes you know how that goes, but uh, he needs to be able to do that. Um, I would like to see show pigs added to the small animal section. You know, Kathy, that is a great idea. Uh, hadn't even thought of that. Uh, we got people that are treating show pigs, and we we really need to uh, have a section on uh, large animals as well, like like cows. Uh, there are some folks in our system that that treat bucking bulls in the rodeos. I, you know, we want this bull to buck better, and and so they're treating bucking bulls, and then they're treating uh, the horses that the you know they're riding and and the whole the whole nine yards, and and uh, it would be very good to add sections about that to the training modules. Great idea, and and we will do that, um, and we're gonna and again we're gonna get on that uh, right away. I've kind of got myself on a schedule. If I'm gonna do this twice a day on Tuesdays, and then our plan is. Um, is to have a webinar on Thursdays where I will interview someone in depth and, and I'm hoping my first guest will be a woman named Pilar who is a cancer survivor. She used the, the MagnaWave device for and a, and, a, and a protocol that she put together and uh, she now is telling people about this protocol and how she's using it as an alternative type of therapy and being very progressive in that. And we're going to have her hopefully on our first webinar probably next Thursday is when we're planning on doing that and then those will also become podcasts. But I think that's a great idea because I don't treat pigs and I haven't treated any pigs, but the folks that are treating pigs could probably give us some good pointers in, in what they're doing, how they find uh, the, the areas. You know, it, it's kind of interesting there as well. When I first started, I did racehorses and jumping horses and didn't really do much with dressage. A little different. You got to get their mindset. You got to get, you got to work into that area. Uh, didn't, did very little uh, uh, Western horses. Couldn't figure out where to go find the Western horse business. Yeah, they had the big shows and that kind of stuff, but my gosh, there's Western horses all over the place. So you got to figure a way of getting in into those folks and, and treating them. Barrel racing has become huge. A lot of people who are barrel racers are finding the real benefits that they can obtain in giving them better range of motion, better speed, better breathing capabilities. Ah, reminds me of... <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of a story and then I'm going to take, a, take another question. A couple of years ago six guys came over from Dubai and they, we, they wanted to meet. So they came over and we met, we went to Churchill Downs and, and we met with a couple of the veterinarians. They wanted to get some ideas about what they could do as far as, as, far as the medical treatments and, and supplementation for their horses and then they wanted to see because they knew when I was in Dubai I was treating camels. I was treating million dollar camels in Dubai because their camel racing it is so big. It's, it was an interesting thing. That I treated, one day I treated three camels, a $3 million camel, a $2 million camel, and $1 million camel that the sheik had purchased. And, and they purchased them because this one was first, second, and third, and he paid <laughs> accordingly. And so we went and treated those camels. Quite an experience. I've got some pictures of that. But these guys came over from Dubai, and, and they wanted to meet, and we had dinner, spent the evening together, and talked about all this stuff. They wanted their camels to go faster. And having seen camel racing over there and, and, and seeing what they did and how they did it, it really wasn't making their, their camels run faster. And it's quite the same thing today. You look at horse races and, and uh, uh, standard bred racing and a lot of this stuff. The times, yeah, there's some really, really fast things and there's some really records, but boy, they're still close. 
So the answer comes down, Can I, they kept saying, well, make them run faster. And I said, I don't know how I can make them run faster, but I do believe I can make them run faster longer or fast longer by, by giving them good fluid movement, by giving them better oxygenation, by letting their lungs better let them breathe so they don't become exhausted. They're not breathing so hard or fighting so hard to run that race. So if we can make them run fast longer, that'll give them a better opportunity to compete with some of those other camels. And so that's really a way that we've kind of looked at, at some of that stuff. And I've had a lot of experience like that. And uh, I'm going to tell you, the Dubai trip was absolutely incredible. You don't want to drive in Dubai. Um, I did, and it, it's amazing. I mean, it's it's uh, it's just amazing. It's like a racetrack. I mean, it's like uh, in NASCAR they call it shark track racing, where you're bung, bumping and, and banging and doing all that kind of stuff. They're bumping and banging all over the highway in in Dubai all the time, and, and they just cut in front of you. It's it's amazing. But anyway, let's see. Um, the possibilities are are endless. Uh, Kathy Milligan says the possibilities are endless. She treated a chicken last night. Uh, Jody Clark and Teresa Gagnon in uh, in um, uh, the Colorado area have treat chickens. They treat all kinds of different animals, and because they all have they all have issues. Uh, there was somebody treating a uh, I believe they were treating a squirrel the other day that was posted on the website because the squirrel was having some tail issues and couldn't balance itself properly. And so then you have chickens with wing issues. They've broken a wing and they need to get it to heal, or they have. All, just all, it's, it's an animal is an animal. Blood circulation is blood circulation. Blood oxygenation is a good thing. If you can have good oxygenated blood, improved blood flow, that can work miracles in the body. That can give the body the better ability to heal itself. We really don't heal anything. All we do is help the body position itself, maybe feel a little better, a little better oxygen uptake. We don't force oxygen. We don't create oxygen. We just give the bodies, the cell membrane softens up, becomes more permeable, just by nature of the action of the device, it allows for better op oxygen uptake, which allows the cells to be healthier. Healthy cells better do their job to fight off infection, to, fight, to, to take away inflammation. Take away inflammation, we take away pain. So that's basically what we're doing. And again, if you have any questions, just for those of you who may have joined us who don't know much about MagnaWave, I'm Pat Zemer. I'm the founder of MagnaWave, three-time best-selling author uh, in the marketing and, and uh, equine space. Uh, I founded MagnaWave. I've been a practitioner. I've treated thousands of horses and people over the years. I've been doing this since 2002. Uh, got, a, got degrees in microbiology and, and pathology, and I was an EMT once studying to be a paramedic. That's a whole other story about uh, the, my family owned an ambulance business years ago, and so I worked in the ambulance business. But uh, so it, it gives you some basis. I'm not, I don't have nearly the education that someone would need as a doctor or some of the things that they go to, but I have a good understanding of the physiology and the anatomy of the body and how things can work and how MagnaWave and PMF ther therapy can very well affect uh, those situations and make them better. Uh, again, uh, folks, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Don't be afraid to put them in there. Put them in there and, and I'll answer them as best I can. If I can't answer it, I will tell you that uh, I need to find out. Let me call. I had one yesterday and you know I, I'm remiss. I need to follow up on this question that I was asked yesterday. Uh, a horse had sarcoid. Hello. Sarcoidosis. It's a, it's a tumor that grows. Sarcoidosis. Uh, and it really was nasty looking and I talked to, I referred to one of my vets, they wanted to know if they could treat it and what they would get and uh, they're using the HydroWave oxygenated water on it to help sanitize and clean it and maybe help, maybe help it begin to heal. Um, and, and so they wanted to know what to do and so I went to a couple of the vets that are part of our thing and said, what about this? And, uh, and they said, well, cryogenic surgery, which is a, a uh, frozen, freezing type of surgery where they can uh, take care of things, remove them, and freeze things and, and uh, parts of the body in order to uh, assist in removal. And they also said that you may get, they have very good, they've experienced very good tumor reduction uh, in, their, in their dogs, and that certainly wouldn't hurt to give us a try uh, on this particular, it was a horse and uh, uh, it's, it's got a very advanced condition, but it could be very beneficial uh, to, uh, to help that out in, in that 
in that type of situation. So we get those kind of requests all the time, and so what I do, if I can't answer the question or I haven't been exposed to it, I go to the, to the vets on our board, our, our advisors, or I'll go to the MDs and say, hey, what should we do in this situation? What do you recommend? Because uh, we, we need to uh, approach things in a, in a manner that, that's right. Uh, there are times when we sit back and say, mm, this isn't something that we need to be dealing with. Uh, that that kind of brings me to, and then I got another question. I'll I'll get to here in just a second. <coughs> one of the when well, I lost it. Um, one of the things people talk about is how quick will this work, and how long will the results last. And it's kind of a situation that I've explained in the beginning. We'd go treat a horse or treat a person. They'd stand up and they feel better right away. And that's pretty much the case. How long does it last? Well, it might last for a day. It might last for three days. Uh, and the, the way it, it kind of works is the more you treat a situation or the more you treat an area, the longer the result may last. My wife has three herniated discs and we treated her oh, in a total over about three months. We'd treat her in, in 15 or 30 day increments and we'd stop and she'd get two weeks worth of relief. And we did it again and she got two, four weeks worth of relief. So we said, let's do it again. Maybe she'll get six weeks worth of relief for her to go away. And uh, nope, what happened was we treated it the third time for 30 days. She got four weeks of worth of relief. The real secret was after that happened, treat her once or twice every three to four weeks and she'd get three to four weeks out of it. We didn't have to treat her 30 days in a row. So the more you treat, in many cases, the long it lasts. But that's what I was gonna say. It, in, in some cases, if I go to treat, someone asked the question this morning, well, I'm treating this and it's not, when I do it, I'm getting a shiver type, my horse is experiencing the shivers or something is going on and it happens when I treat the pole. Well, the, the question became, if I do something or if someone treats a horse three or four times and you don't see a change, you don't see the horse starting to feel better, you don't see any reversal, you don't see anything going on, that's a pretty good time to consult a veterinarian because there's something else going on. There's something going on that we can't, good oxygenation, good blood flow is not helping. So, and that's what I've always, uh, what I've always tried to do is if I treat something and I come back and I treat it the next day and I come back and I treat it the next day and it's no better, no, nothing going on, you need to have your vet come look at this because there's something deeper more involved than what, uh, than what we're in our mechanical massage or our PEMF process being able to, to benefit. Um, so let's see here. Shannon asked a question. I know the list of long for things you are putting in place as vers uh, versus marketing and tools that are available now. How do you find out what is available at this time and how do we get started? Uh, well, Shannon, uh, what you would do is, uh, as you work into the family, if you will, and uh, we're, we're making this stuff all available through the uh, practitioner portal, what's going to be going on. We have people that are with the CRM program, the, con the uh, con uh, customer relations management program, who will train in how to use it, how to best implement that uh, into your practice to communicate with your customers, and then the, the other the other aspects of the training are going to be rolled out in the next two weeks as we go and develop uh, these processes. And so that's how someone would find out and, and uh, move forward with those uh, situations. Uh, so um, any other questions that anyone may have, we'd be more than happy. Pardon me? Can you rewatch this more and more? Soon? Sure. Oh yeah. And I and someone asked the question earlier and Elaine just came in and asked me, can this be rewatched? Yes. Well, we're going to put these programs, two things are going to happen. We're going to cut them up into smaller segments so we can ask a question and play the answer back at that point in time. And then we'll put them, uh, we'll shorten them up so that the places where I'm uh, just creating things to talk about as we're here will be potentially removed so we have the meat of the questions and answers uh, put together so it can be watched in a podcast or available. We want it to be available to you so you can so you can learn from it uh, as as you need. So let's see any other questions that uh, we can answer for you. Uh, we've been on going about 45 minutes now and uh, certainly want to answer all the questions that you may have uh, so you can make a better choice when it comes to thinking about what do I need to do, how do I need to approach this as a business or for my individual use. There have been a lot of questions, uh, people talking about what's the difference between a low-powered machine and a high-powered machine. We get questions every day, well, what about the Beamer system or what about the Imers systems? You know, they're all good. 
and they're, and they're great systems, and they do a good job. The difference in the power is the speed of result. So if someone uh, strains a back, strains a knee, strains an ankle, and or a horse or dog does the same kind of thing, you want to get on it right now. You want to relieve the inflammation, take away the pain, so the, the client is comfortable. And then you can get about the business of helping the body heal itself. So th that's pretty much the, the difference. The, the lower power devices, if you, you lay on them for a half hour at a time every day or 15 minutes at a time, twice a day or every day, it takes weeks in some cases to gain the result that you'll get with a higher powered machine in 15 minutes. And so that's how, that's how it's looked at. So I know there are folks that use uh, on the racetrack, they'll use our machine or a PEMF machine, MagnaWave type of machine, to help the shoulders of this horse or help the neck of this horse. Then they'll put a blanket on for the every day for the next week to help hold what was happening. And and so it's just get ahead of it and hold it. You know, if you're trying to play catch up all the time with the with the indication, in many cases you're not going to catch it. You know, I always I, I make the comparison when we talk about somebody. If you go to the state fair and you wear the wrong pair of shoes, and you get there and all of a sudden you realize, oh my goodness, I wore the wrong shoes. Well, you've been you're there all day long. You're riding rides, running around, cotton candy, the whole deal. Next thing you can't really walk. Your back's killing you. Your shoulders are killing you. Your neck's bothering you. It's your shoes. And and so you go home and you change your shoes. Things will get better. But if you wear the same shoes every day, you're you're it's it's gonna be the same way. Well, we have that same thing, and a horse, a, a dog gets hip dysplasia, and the surgery's a lot of money, and, and so you keep trying to figure out how you can do it to, you know, not need the surgery until you need it, or maybe not have to have it, and, and if, if you can get ahead of it, then you can keep that dog pretty comfortable. Same thing in horses. You don't know how the, the constitution of the horse, how it's built, the rider, the, the saddle fit, the, the weight, all these kind of things. You know, turn the barrels. I mean, you talk about stress when, when these bar horses turn the barrels. They're not going around a corner of a racetrack. They're turning the barrels, and that's a lot of stress. And so you need to, when they hurt themselves, you need to get after it right away. That's what we do when we work with professional athletes. Uh, we've got a doctor. There's a doctor in, in Denver that does a lot of work with the Broncos, and he uses uh, the MagnaWave type of MagnaWave equipment in his practice. Uh, we're now talking to the uh, Tennessee Titans about uh, they're using it and uh, utilizing it for their team. We do the Louisville uh, professional soccer team. Uh, to help them feel better, but the deal is when they get themselves hurt, they treat themselves immediately. Let's keep it from getting worse. I once had a girl uh, at, at a jumping show in Lexington who broke her ankle, and a lot of pain, a lot of stuff going on, and I just happened to be there, so we magnawaved her ankle um, for uh, eight to ten minutes before they took her. They were bringing the car up before they took her to the doctor, to the hospital, and they got there, and the doctor said, well, you don't look bad. You're not swollen. And she felt a little better, but it was, you know, all we did was keep the inflammation from coming. You know, inflammation causes a lot of problems. Once the inflammation sets in, the longer it's there, it exacerbates what's going on. So if you can get rid of that inflammation, keep the inflammation at bay, help the pain relief be better, help the oxygenation, then that area can heal itself uh, in, a, in a quicker uh, fashion, which we see all the time with, with issues that they'll heal a third faster when you're using a good uh, alternative therapy, uh, PEMF, MagnaWave type of, type of treatment. So, you know, I'm giving you tidbits of information that, that uh, years of, uh, as I've been around and, and done this for years, you, you see and learn a lot of, a lot of things. And I, I probably got a million examples in my mind from my travels as, as to what I have seen. And, and I, I love to answer those questions and help people out <clears throat> when it comes to that, to those questions, because they have them and, and people have them uh, all the time, but we need to be able to, uh, to provide those answers, and of course they're they're in the portal and they're in the uh, private uh, uh, forum group where people can where the practitioners can further expand their knowledge and, and their abilities to provide and, and help their clients as they go along. So we're sneaking up. It's about uh, ten minutes till the hour of three o'clock at this point. Uh, doesn't look like if you, again if you have a question, please. Uh, throw it up there and I'd be be happy to answer it. I want to tell you that our plan is again 
Uh, we're going to do this every Tuesday at 9 and 2, uh, 9 in the morning, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So we can pretty much, for folks all over the country, they can uh, get us at, at various times and, and get their questions answered. We're going to have a live uh, webinar on Thursdays with various people um, uh, to help them learn, and we're going to be interviewing practitioners. We'll interview people who are, are cancer survivors. We'll interview people who are uh, doctors. We'll have doctors on the whole nine yards. If you got somebody that you'd like for us to interview so you can learn about what they're doing or how they may use uh, this in their practice, uh, drop me a line, put it in uh, Facebook here, and uh, we'll certainly try to get those people in our interview process to, uh, again, provide you with the information uh, that you need. You've, got, you've given me some great ideas today with things to add to the, to the training portals with pigs and, and large animals, and certainly the idea of having a video. In fact, we, I made plans with our videographer a week and a half ago. We were going to go shoot uh, using all the attachments on all of the machines, showing how the attachment worked with each machine uh, on various locations throughout the body, and something can't forget what I think I had to to uh, leave town for a, a family member who wasn't well, and so we weren't able to uh, get that accomplished. But we are going to reschedule that and uh, bring those videos to you so it can uh, help you guys uh, as you move along and develop your business. So it is uh, 2.51. I don't see any other questions uh, coming up. If you've enjoyed this uh, broadcast, please let us know. Uh, if you don't follow us on Facebook, uh, please uh, do so and, and uh, give us a follow and uh, like our page. We'd love, love for that to, to happen. Uh, another thing that's happening uh, real quick, just to give you some, an overview here on the uh, Facebook activity, we are creating various pages. Uh, something that happens is people will come and they say, well, I want to know more about Magnoid PEMF, but I go to your site and I see uh, you got a lot of horse stuff on there. Well, we're going to create just pages, specialized pages for each, I want to call it a discipline, but we'll have a specialized page for uh, medical professionals. We'll have a specialized page for human application, specialized page for small animal application, and then the same uh, for for the equine use. So we can use if someone that's their real interest, they can go there and see testimonials and stories and and all of that. And you know, there you go. I'm thinking of something else. If if you get a chance and you want to see what's going on, people say, well, where can I see uh, what's happening? Well, let me show you real quick here. Let me take you to. Uh, our website. If someone goes to um, our website, there's a couple of ways <clears throat> to do this where we have the, the uh, let me get over here, the medical studies. Uh, we've got various clinical uh, trials that have happened. Uh, it talks about the, the trials that we have coming up uh, for our devices. Uh, we didn't get into the FDA. If you'd, if you'd like to me to tell you about where we are with the FDA and the safety processes and that type of stuff, I'd be happy to do that. I discussed it this morning, so if you're a repeat visitor, I don't want to uh, belabor that type of in, uh, information. But we have ver various uh, information for you to see there under the PEMF medical studies. And then under the About tab, at the bottom, we have PEMF reviews, or that could be termed as testimonials. So you can go see reviews for you, which is people. You can see reviews for pets and horses, and then you, there's an article that was in the Draft Horse Journal. That's a very interesting read. But if you select one of these particular areas, there are, it's going to take it a second here to come up, uh, since I'm broadcasting, the internet's running a little slow, but we have videos there, and then there are review after review after review or testimonial about how people have utilized the Magnoid PMF equipment, uh, what their results have been, just they're all over there. So if somebody wants to know, well, how would I do this? That's an interesting one. must have a headache. Uh, if someone wants to know what's going on, that's the place to go uh, to get the reviews uh, that you're interested in seeing to, again, help you have the in education and information uh, that you're looking for. So uh, I hope that's beneficial. You can tell your friends or you can go uh, see that yourself and get those questions answered for you. So again, I'm Pat Ziemer, uh, founder of MagnaWave. Uh, I'm here to answer your questions. You can call me anytime you wish. You can call the office. You can give me a call. My personal cell is 502-271-8400. 
I'm here to answer your questions. If I'm busy, I'll say, hey, I'll call you back. Uh, we want to give you the information you want. We certainly thank you uh, for joining us today. Um, I, and uh, I want to I look forward to bringing these uh, uh, programs to you. And uh, so, again, have a great day. Thank you for joining me. And uh, let us know if you enjoy this. Have a great day. Bye.